Hi YouTube! Okay, so I'm going to do a super quick video um, talking about what is in my hospital bag. No, I did not get a cancellation call, although I'm still crossing my fingers. So let's roll on with this. Um, this is my bag and that is my messy room. So let's ignore that for now. Um, but this is my bag little, you know, Lululemon bag that I've had for ages and never use. So, um, so far I have, sorry, my mom is yelling at my dog. Okay. So far I have, um, a robe, which I may or may not keep in the bag because I don't know. I don't really like robes. Um, but in case I don't bring the robe, I also packed just a really thick sweater because I do get cold very often. So I don't want to, um, you know, be cold in the hospital and be wrapped up in sheets like a mummy. Um, I also brought these or not brought, I'm not there yet, but I'm talking like I am, aren't I? Um, I also packed, you know, really comfy pajama pants. And they're super loose as well. And uh, something listen. Oh no, here it is. I also packed, you know, this long pajama shirt. That's really cute. It says "Owl, you need is love." I got this from Walmart, <laughs> which is where I got a, you get a lot of stuff. And. To go home in, I packed um, this maxi dress that I got from Old Navy. I don't know why I keep saying where I'm getting these things from, but sometimes people ask, so I thought I would just tell you. But yeah, it's this maxi dress that I got from Old Navy probably four years ago, and it's my favorite. So I'm actually, like, I mean, I'm sad to have to say it's getting too, like, to eventually say it's getting too big but I'm also happy and excited and I can't wait to be able to say this just too big I need another one and hopefully they have the same one okay um ugh, maybe I should put this on my lap so heavy okay so other than that I just for clothes which I'm not going to pull out because I mean come on <clears throat> socks and undies the essentials um, and then let's move on to other stuff. So deodorant, Tom's of Maine. It's like a, you know, natural deodorant. Try to be natural and not use aluminum and, or use aluminum based products as deodorant. I also have, now don't get alarmed when you see this, body wash. But I'm going to find a smaller container to put this in because it is quite huge. I just bought it yesterday. I have um, flushable all-purpose wipes. Um, I also have um, like the uh, personal wipes, like, you know, for nail there. So I have those as well. I'm going to bring them as well. Um, I have, this is not a good setup here. Biotin spray. Um, this was recommended on, I think, a few other videos that I've seen, and also uh, definitely recommended on um, this forum I follow, obesity, obesityhelp.com, I think it is. So yeah, lots of people have, have um, recommended this, so I decided, why not? What I didn't know was that, oh, now I opened it and I have to keep it. Um, it's quite a small bottle and it cost me $12 I think so I'm hoping that means that you don't have to use it as much <laughs> because it is a small bottle it says that it um it's alcohol free and it's sugar free which is good for us right it's a mouth um, moisturizing mouth spray that provides moisturization for up to two hours so and I think you only use like one spray, two sprays. No, one spray. One spray directly into the mouth. 
So I'm hoping, um, yeah, I heard that dry mouth is like a big, it's common, I should say. So um, I definitely want to make sure that I am prepared for that. I also got these extra strength gas relief uh, chewables. I was looking for the strips, couldn't find the strips, so I got the chewables instead. Sorry, there's an ad on my screen now. Uh, you want to go away, ad on my screen? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I got these. There's 18 of them. So hopefully that's enough for the first day. Apparently gas is also quite common after, so. Uh, Vaseline for the lips. And I also have a lip gloss for the lips. I have my headphones, an essential. Um, what I didn't show is obviously my phone and my iPad. I'll bring them both um, with their chargers. Someone mentioned, okay, this is got to put an extension cord. Apparently, they're like, I wish I, like, I'm so glad I brought mine because the outlet was farther than my bed. So I packed an extension cord. <laughs> As the medication, what you don't, what I, what I won't be showing is my CPAP machine, but if you look at my headboard back there, there we go. That's my CPAP mask. So <laughs> that's my CPAP, part of my CPAP machine. I'll be bringing that. Toothpaste. What is not packed in here, because I'm a dirty girl, is a toothbrush, but it will be in there because I just got a new one from my dentist. Um, hand, hand sanitizer. Slay. <laughs> Can you see that? I'm such a loser. Okay. Um, is there anything else I forgot? Of course, like washcloth, face cloth. Um, my slippers are downstairs. I'm bringing those. Not a towel. I'm not bringing a towel. They can towel me if it gets that far. Um, my charger. I can't think of anything else that I said I was going to bring that I forgot to pack. So, yeah. Oh, duh. Most important thing. That's like the highlight of this video. My new pillow. It's huge. And it's memory foam. So, yeah. I bought a pillow specifically for this event. Because... I need a comfy pillow. Plus, also a lot of people were saying to bring a stiff pillow um, to brace your like to brace yourself when you're coughing and to like provide a barrier when you're putting your seatbelt on when you're leaving. So, and I need a new pillow. Like, there's a lot of pillow. Like, you could see a lot of pillows over there, but I don't sleep on any of them because they're super flat. In fact, I just gave them to my dog and I just said you could sleep on these because they're super flat. I can't do it. <clears throat> um, I might bring a book. I don't know. I did buy a couple books that I would like to read eventually, so I might bring those. Um, but I don't know. So some people said they brought a book and never ended up reading it. So, and I know I feel like I'd be that kind of person. If anything, I'd probably be in the hospital on Instagram or on YouTube watching y'all's videos. So, also I have three subscribers, and I'm so thankful for all three of you. Um. You really make my day because then it makes me feel like I'm actually talking to someone and not just to myself, you know, so thank you to my three subscribers. I do appreciate you all and I do watch all of your videos and I try to comment as much as possible, but no, that's a lie. I do comment, um, but yeah. Um, oh, today is Mother's Day. So I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the people out there. Um, we had a great Mother's Day weekend with my mom and this is where I say like hindsight is such 2020 like or they say hindsight is 2020 and that is so true because um this week like Friday so two days ago was my mom's birthday so we spent the whole day with her basically like so well I spent every day with her because I live with her but um Friday at lunchtime we took her out for lunch to this her favorite restaurant 
and then I dropped her back home and I did a whole bunch of running around for this surprise barbecue that me and my aunt were throwing for her on a Saturday, so yesterday. And um, then we went out for dinner, like Friday night, um, to a buffet, which was so pointless. I swear, buffets are so pointless because like they, they cost crazy money, like they're 30 bucks for a plate. And you probably can't even eat like two plates. Like I did uh, one plate of food and one plate of soup and salad, you know, so like, well, you know, the soup was in a bowl, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's so pointless. Um, anyway, and then after that, I like, after the buffet on Friday, I went back to my aunt's house and we were preparing stuff like cooking and whatever for the barbecue on Saturday. Then all day Saturday until the barbecue I was running around, I had to go pick up the cake for my mom, and then I had to run around and get all the little bits that you just never thought of, like ice and all this kind of stuff. I had to run around and get, get, go and get all those kind of things, and I was just shattered. Like, I was so tired, um, and then the barbecue, we had the barbecue, and the barbecue was so nice, and my mom loved it, so I'm so happy, and then today was Mother's Day, so um, after church, we went to my grandfather's house and, you know, spent the day, spent the afternoon with him. Um, so the point of me saying all that <laughs> was one to say happy mother's day. And I know one of my subscribers, I think at least one of my subscribers, um, celebrated mother's day in March. So still you get to say, be told happy mother's day twice. So happy mother's day. Um, yeah. Anyway, going back to hindsight. So I was just thinking, cause I've been basically like in my last video, I don't know if you could tell, but I was kind of desperate for like this to happen quick. And I'm just like, so happy that it didn't happen last week when I wanted it to. Um, because yeah, like I had my mom's birthday. I had, um, a presentation on Wednesday, like last Wednesday at school I had, um, the month the my mom's birthday like the whole day Friday I had presentation on Wednesday at school I had the Saturday whole entire day with this barbecue and it would have been unfair to my aunt if I was just like um, well, I'm having surgery so can you just handle all this because cooking and shopping and doing all of this for like 40 to 50 people it seems like a little bit of people but it's a lot like and you always end up over cooking because you don't want to have be in a situation where there's not enough to feed people so we yeah it would have been full on for her and I would that wouldn't have been fair um and you know and I think like it wouldn't have been fair to my mom either if I she had to spend her birthday in the hospital like for me so yeah I'm kind of glad it didn't happen last week but I'm still I'm um, I'm still hoping that it happens fairly soon um this one girl on the forum the same forum I mentioned she was like well if they take you in for early pre-op that basically means that you're shortlisted for um for surgery so you're like you're just got to be ready for when they call you so I'm like okay this is good news um the nurse well she mentioned that she was concerned with how quickly I was going through the program because through Ontario, like if you're getting it paid by OHIP, usually like from the day that you go to orientation to the day that you have surgery or even let's say referral date. So from your referral date, usually to the day of surgery, it's like 13 or 14 months sometimes, at least a year. But for me, it just happened to work out this way because I called for one cancellation that literally made all my appointments shift up. Um... So for me, from from um, orientation to my surgeon date, it was it was um, I think five months. So December, January, February, March, April, yeah, five months. So um, I guess yeah, that is concerning. But I told her, I'm like, you know what, honestly. Um, it looks like it's very quick, but I've been doing that, like dedicated my, the last two years of my life to this, to leading up to this. I've gone, been going to counseling voluntarily to work through my food issues because obviously like obesity is a physical thing, but for a lot of us, it's mental. So, um, I've been doing counseling weekly 
to deal with this. So I, I am ready. So she was like, oh, excellent. Be well, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, she said that she has called people on the day of the cancellation and to see if they can come down. So I'm like, okay, well, she calls me on the day then I got to be ready to out of here. <laughs> Cause yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if that'll happen, but I'm open to it happening. You know, anyway, this video is 15 minutes long. I was not expecting it to be this long. I hope I've provided some substance to you, you guys. <laughs> I hope I've said something that made sense. Um, yeah. And if there's anything else to update you guys on, I will let you know. But for now, see you later. Bye.